pleasure to be with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight, we'll see the Golden State Warriors as they play against the San Antonio Spurs. Well, for San Antonio, they're looking to come out strong and make their mark early. They have to look at this game as a great opportunity to do just that. It was one of the bigger stories of the offseason. LaMarcus Aldridge, courted by many, but ultimately decided to come home to Texas, the state he grew up in. What does he provide this new team, Shaq? Well, the good thing about Aldridge is he can fit in well with the group that is already in place. Doesn't need a ton of touches to be productive, but when he gets it, he's going to shoot at an impressive rate. Well, he'll have a little bit of pressure on him because uh, he's expected to lift this team to a whole nother level again. So um, a bit of pressure, but I think he's ready for it. You know, he's back home, home cooking, moms, cousins, nephews, nieces. Everybody's excited. Let's send it down now to Kevin Harlan as we approach tip-off. so far. There's Green with the three. It's rebounded by Golden State. Boy, he's got a nice looking stroke. That almost went in. And a lot of times he'll still knock those down no matter how good the D is. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. And that one's good. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well. Feed from Steph Curry. Here is Parker. The Oracle, Oracle <laughs> Arena was rocking last season, and with good reason, the Warriors would finish a league best 39 and 2 at home last year. And how about that 39 and 2 record put them one off of tying the best record ever in the NBA? That record, by the way, belongs to the Celtics with 40 wins back in 1986. Spurs trail by five. Passes it to Aldridge. Parker, and it's Aldridge, top of the key. of their free throws. And, you know, that just added to their confidence at the offensive end. I mean, knowing that free throw shooting was something they didn't have to worry about gave them a lot of confidence to play freely. 
Last season, Clark, the Spurs kept on winning as usual. They passed the Lakers, in fact, for the best winning percentage all time for a franchise. Well, some of that has to do with the struggles the Lakers had last season, but more of it is credit to the Spurs. Consistency and high-quality play has been who they are and have been for two decades. And with the Spurs and, and their winning percentage, it's right above 60. Not bad for a team to join the NBA back in 1977. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. And it's out of bounds. Nice touch by Curry. Risky pass in a situation like that. Very lucky that wasn't a steal. Fortunate to get it through. I thought he was headed the other way with that one. The Warriors making a switch here. Spates has checked in. San Antonio also making some changes. Boris Diaz checked in for Duncan. And it's Ginobili in for Green. so far. Well, they've gone on this run and ball movement has been a big key. And it really has, Mark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. And the lead now, double digits on that bucket. Seven points in the game. And the offense has come together immediately. I mean, they're threatening to run away with this thing already. Greg, it's hard to imagine they'll stay this hot for four quarters, but if they even approximate Steph Curry. Then for the Spurs, West is checked in for Aldridge. And it's Mills in for Tony Parker. Spurs trail by 10. And Doris Burke spoke with Steve Kerr. Doris? He knows this won't be an easy game, especially defensively. And he talked about how difficult it is to contain shooting guard Manu Ginobili. He told me Ginobili is one of those right brain scorers. He just sees the game just slightly differently. An angle to get by his man or an opportunity to draw contact. And of course, players in the entire league. And thank you for that, Doris. And Iguodala with the basket, the assist by Livingston. Iguodala has got his first basket. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. They've come out in attack mode on the defensive end. They've applied pressure and forcing turnovers. Another big aspect of their game tonight has been the fast break, transition opportunities. They're really keeping it up tempo so far. Warriors leading by 14. And Patrick Mills gets that whistle that time. That's his first foul. Leandro Barbosa has checked in for the Warriors. First a shot that he has in his arsenal. There's 45 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Livingston dishes to Spates, and that one's 
good. Warriors well, the Warriors did zip the ball around very well last year, Clark. They led the league, as Greg was just talking about, led the league in assists per game. It wasn't even close. Over 27 assists per game as a team. Yeah, 28 times they had 30 or more assists. Mm -hmm. In 2014, the team that led in that category was the Spurs. They did it only 16 times. So it's the Warriors now, following the miss by David West. Iguodala with it. Leonard picks him up. Green, the screen. Iguodala kicks to Green. Offensive rebound. A second chance effort. That doesn't go either for Green. And you really thought that was going to be a gimme, but unable to convert. Yeah, and a little self-talk. Angry self-talk for himself after that miss. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. Warriors ahead, up by 16. We've got more in store for you right after this. not try to solve problems by ourselves. It's something that we've never done, and every time we did it, it's not us. There's a lot to be said for knowing, Greg, who you are and what your game plan is, and there may be no other team that gets that better than the San Antonio Spurs. Hey, Kevin, it helps to have that core of Manu, Tony, and, and Timmy there as the foundation and coaches on the floor for each new wave players that come on board, whether it's Leonard or Splitter, Mills, Green, or any of the other role players that have come through the Spurs organization. And welcome back. It's been all one-sided so far through the first quarter as our second quarter gets underway. And a very convincing performance here from the Warriors so far. A lot of tough deep being played by them so far. It's been the difference maker. Greg, no uncontested shots for the most part. That's why they've had success. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. On the floor for San Antonio, we've got Green. Bill's out there with Tony Parker. And it's Duncan. And it's Aldridge in at the four slot. And the Spurs last season became the first franchise to hire a female assistant coach. A big step, not just for the Spurs, but really for all of the NBA. Well, as Greg was just talking about, the assistant that was hired was Becky Hammond, a phenomenal player for a very long time in the WNBA. And Clark, you know, you and I were talking about this before. She was a perfect candidate to become the first full-time female assistant. Yeah, I agree with you. And it might not seem like that big a deal to some, but this was a big-time barrier breaker that the Spurs pulled off. Good on the second free throw. Well, I tell you, the Warriors roster fit together hand in glove. They were led by the Splash Brothers, but the front court and the bench really complemented the rest of the team perfectly because all of the players for the Warriors were extremely versatile and highly skilled. Shot clock at six. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. As you're talking about the Warriors, you know, they were built to play with each other last year. The bigs could all pass very well, and that set up the three-point threats. And, and, and then even on the defensive side, I mean, they had players that really complemented each other. I mean, some undersized power forwards who, who countered with rim protectors. I mean, they also had the length at every perimeter position to switch on any play. So they are equally as adept on that side of the ball. San Antonio shooting their third free throw shot of the game. That one misses for Mills. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out rebounded. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. 
Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. And now they decide to foul intentionally. There's really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that's might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's a, just not a good play. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Yeah, saw some things that just weren't working for them and wants to make some adjustments. Yeah, and no reason to wait around to do that, Greg. I mean, might as well make those adjustments right away. Curry passes to Bogut. Here's Azili. Second shot goes in, off to a good start, two for two. Love the assist. I mean, he knew exactly where that bounce pass had to be to create that opportunity. Mills with it. Feeds it to Duncan. There's the three. No good. Nice D from Bogut. You know, even though he missed that one, great shooters have a way of feeling when they've got enough room to pull the trigger. You no doubt about it. The defense, you can see him exhaling right now. Fortunate that he didn't knock that one down. Poked away. Here's Thompson. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got his fifth assist in this one. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they have. Mills dishes to Duncan. Curry against Parker. Down low. Here's Thompson. Great T that time from Green. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there, and a little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. Thompson with the bucket. That's their third straight make off an assist. <laughs> Great ball movement. There's the dish to Mills. Baseline J on the way. The shot is off. So Golden State will take it the other way. And here we go with Curry running it up the court. And that one's good. Barnes has got five now. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much of the other side of the floor. Spacing. That you can always count on in life. Death, taxes, and of course the Spurs winning 50 games in the regular season. It happened for the 16th straight season last year. And the Warriors with a completely new five on the floor. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. David West, he's checked in for Duncan. Dial comes in for Lamarcus Aldridge. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for Green, and it's Ginobili in for Patty Mill. Igudala, no good. Well, keeping in mind the Spurs have won 50 games or more for many years in a row, Greg, there are teams out there who can drive cars who have not even seen the Spurs not win 50 games at least in a year. <laughs> and the way the Spurs keep on building this team, it's not as if that streak's going to end anytime soon. Those kids might have a chance to vote and do much more <laughs> before they fail to see the Spurs win 50 games. You know, they're not totally dominating the glass, but they're definitely doing enough to keep this lead right where it is. Yeah, but the set they've separated themselves, Clark, in a number of categories. Rebounds just being one of them. And there's Barbosa. That's good on the answers by Livingston. Livingston's got four assists now tonight. San Antonio's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second.